Hi there and welcome to today's vlog. Now it just may be a bit of a noisy vlog because it's a noisy day in the manse then. Knock, the builders are knocking through, knocking walls down and stuff like that. So if you hear some noise going on in the background, don't be worried. Now it's a bit of a, a bit of a sad vlog in a sense. I, I have had to start last time, uh, talk about some uh, in, interesting snippets from a biography of John Wesley, which I was going to continue today, but I'm putting that off till next time because I want to share with you something that is of real concern. The Methodist Conference is meeting at the moment in Bristol and uh, one of the reports that's being considered is a report on marriage and relationships. It's quite a controversial report in uh, some of its recommendations and uh, I'm sure you'll, uh, or it's likely that you'll hear something about that later in the week. Uh, they began discussing it yesterday uh, which was uh, Monday, and uh, one of the first, the, or the report has uh, four proposals or recommendations, I'm not quite sure what the word is, uh, resolutions. And the first talks about uh, relationships in general, and it talks about how it is through self-giving rather than self-seeking that a person flourishes and begins to experience life in all its fullness, which seems to be pretty uncontroversial. When we had our district synod, I made the point, A, that it's not just self-giving itself which leads to, can lead to fullness of life, because as Paul writes, uh, he, well, he says that you can give all your money to the poor, you can sacrifice your life, but if that's not out of love, that love of God, then it means nothing. So it has to be founded in God's love. But even more important is the fact that uh, Jesus said, I have come that you might have life in all its fullness. So life in all its fullness, fullness can only be found uh, truly in Jesus Christ. And yesterday at the Methodist Conference, a proposal came from the Shetland district of the Methodist Church to insert into that resolution uh, from the report uh, the line that uh, to do to the effect that uh, this fullness of life comes only through Christ which is uh, quite right I applaud that uh, resolution from the Shetland district unfortunately the Methodist conference uh, debated this and one or two said well if we put it's only through Christ, then it might upset uh, our friends of other faiths. Well, I don't think that's correct. I, I think our friends of other faiths, <coughs> excuse me, would be far more uh, impressed if we uh, were confident in our own faith as they are in their faith. Uh, so uh, some people said, oh, well, if we put it, it's in Christ, then that's going to upset people. Well, We've got to remain Christ-centred as a church if we are to mean anything, to have a message for our society. But sadly, the Methodist Conference chose to reject this, uh, this proposal from the Shetland District. So actually, what we've done is we talk about life in all its fullness, but actually we're forgetting that that comes through Jesus Christ. That's what we as the Methodist Church seems to be doing. There is apparently a, a move to insert a different word rather than only through Christ, uh, make it supremely through Christ, which is better than nothing, of course. But if we say fullness of life comes supremely through Christ, there is the, applica the implication there that, that, that it can come some other way. Whereas Jesus said, I have come that you might have life in all its fullness. So we're living or we're we standing on very dangerous ground here uh, when it seems to be we're almost becoming ashamed of Jesus uh, and remember what he said it, th though that the person who is ashamed of me the son of man that is himself will be ashamed when he comes so it's a, a really important part in in the time in the life of the Methodist Church in this country, if we're going to say 
we're no longer uh, willing to make Christ as our centre, our foundation, then it's a sorry state. But we must put Jesus at the centre. We must say he is Lord. He is Saviour. He is God himself. Fully man. Fully God. Let's pray that we as a Methodist church will once again put Jesus at the centre. Not only that, but that we each as individuals may put Jesus at the centre of our lives. He is Saviour, but he is also Lord. So God bless you. Thank you so much for listening today. <laughs>